Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is about the second capacity test for this Red Odo 100 amp 12 volt battery. Uh, but it's going to be not controlled. It's going to be, I'm just going to use it as willingly as I can uh, and we'll see what the capacity is when the inverter finally quits out and the battery finally dies. So uh, check out this uh, this Frankenstein box that I put together. Okay, what we have is we have our 100 amp 12 volt Red Odo LiPo battery. We got a 1500 watt alpha inverter, pure sine wave. Uh, we have our, uh, our battery monitor. And it is actually set up correctly this time. It's set for a 300 amp uh, shunt. So it will calculate everything accordingly. It's going to start at zero, so when it gets to 100, that is going to be when the battery is dead. Uh, the shunt is right over there, and we also have our uh, 150 amp fuse over on the positive side over here. And then on the other side, I have a power bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry this thing around and plug in whatever I need, and we're just going to keep using it for anything electrical I can think of until the battery's dead. Uh, the first thing I plan on doing is actually a little bit of vacuuming. All right, what's nice about this thing is it's not extremely heavy. Since that uh, Red Odo battery is about a little over 25 pounds, I can easily carry this whole thing up two flights of stairs. Uh, this whole basket of stuff weighs about 36 pounds. So I can carry it around as much as I want. All right, after vacuuming the floor uh, and there's still some spots in it, but after vacuuming the floor, uh, you can see that the voltage is already down to 13.2. Uh, the capacity, it looks like we've used up about 5.55 amp hours. So uh, it's going to take a lot, long, lot more than vacuuming the upstairs to get rid of this battery. So uh, since the floor actually looks pretty spotty still, I'm going to go ahead and steam clean it. And it's also getting hot up here, so hopefully a steam cleaner and a fan will both run at the same time. Okay, all right, I brought my fan up and I got my steam cleaner right here. So let's go ahead and turn the fan on. Yeah, turn it on high. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start steam cleaning this carpet. Uh, I'm guessing that both of them are gonna work. I mean, I haven't tested the amperage or wattage of anything I'm plugging into this thing. I don't really care. I just care about the capacity of the battery. So uh, I'm just going to steam clean this floor. If it doesn't power up, then I'm going to turn the fan off and then turn on the steam cleaner and see if it works. It's just going to be about if it works because it's not the battery's fault. Uh, it's because the inverter is too small. So if it doesn't work, then I'll move on to something else. After all that, let's see what the, the meter reads. And we're looking at, battery is still at 13.1. Uh, we've used 26 amp hours now, uh, 128 watt hours. And we've been going for 32 minutes. So, and yeah, you can hear the, the alpha inverter. It's, uh, the fan is, the fan is lighting up. But it's not hot at all, so that's good. This battery, the Red Odo battery's not hot. These cables are a little warm. Yeah, this one's pretty warm over here. 
but overall, not bad. All right. Now that the carpet's done, I think uh, I'm gonna have some lunch. Uh, and I think a good way to use up some more energy is by cooking a pizza on the pizzazz. So let's try that out. This pizzazz is right at the peak of what the battery can do. Right now it's running at 97 amps. Hopefully it can run that for 20 minutes. Okay, I decided to cut this uh, little experiment a little short. Uh, I'm only about five minutes in, but I could have swore I saw a little bit of smoke coming from here. So, um, yeah, I turned that off right away. The fan on the inverter is still, still running. And now we're at 36.6 uh, amp hours used up in the battery. So I'm gonna let this thing, I'm actually gonna take it down and just set it on the floor. And uh, we'll find something else to do with it after it cools down for a little bit. All right, my son and I are gonna play for a little bit, so I'm just gonna let this run on, just using a little bit of energy. What I have is, I just have this fan running on high. Um, I have this lamp on right here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and just charge my phone up all the way. But let's see what we're numbers at we're at right now. Uh, it looks like we've used up 37 and a half amp hours. And our runtime is an hour and 28 minutes. Uh, so I'll come back in a little bit and we'll continue Okay, I'm back um, and My phone's charged up and uh, So I'm gonna do something different, but actually my back is a little bit sore So what I'm gonna do is actually keep the fan running Keep the light running and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this uh, heating pad uh, on high for a little bit I don't know maybe for 20 minutes or so We'll see. But before I plug that in, let me show you what the monitor is at. We're at 40 amp hours used up, and running time is uh, an hour and 43 minutes. Energy, uh, watt hours used is 513. So, um, we're getting there. Okay, we just got back from uh, walking the dogs, and uh, I went ahead and just left this fan and this light on, because there's no reason to turn them off. And uh, let's look at what the battery is at now. Looks like we've used up 62 and a half amp hours. Uh, the running time has been three hours and 40 minutes and we're just shy of 800 watt hours. Uh, right now we're using you know, 10 amps, 10 amps of current. And so what I plan on doing is I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, vacuum this floor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing up to my TV and, uh, and watch a movie. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, that inverter is humming. And now we're at 68.4 amp hours used up. So what we're gonna do is uh, watch some TV. All right, one thing I thought of in advance when it comes to uh, having my internet and my TV and this Alexa uh, all powered off grid is that I knew there would be instances where I would wanna turn off my off grid system altogether to either add something or change something or test something uh, and I didn't want it to interrupt the internet because everything in this house every person uses the internet all the time so when it goes down people notice uh, so what I did is I actually have a UPS system right here um, and that is basically a backup for when I turn off my uh, my off-grid stuff at least the internet and well basically it's for the internet 
uh, the internet will not turn off when I turn off my system. So it's just a little thing that I know that when I go downstairs to work on my off-grid stuff, uh, it won't disrupt everything up here. So that was a little pre-planning on my part. So what I'm gonna do is just grab that little cord, unplug it from the uh, off-grid downstairs and plug it straight into this uh, 12 volt uh, Red Odo battery. All right, and just like that, just like that, you can switch it over. Uh, if I ever need to, I can actually just plug it into this wall if I wanna power everything uh, from, from shore power, I guess you could call it, uh, from the grid. Uh, but now it's all running off of uh, our 12 volt battery. All right, so now we're gonna watch some TV. And it looks like everything is everything is using about uh, 310 watts. So, yeah. So let's watch TV for like an hour or so, something like that. Well, uh, I hadn't even started watching TV yet. It probably been about three to four minutes, and this thing just shut off. So I'm gonna go grab a multimeter and see what kind of voltage we have. I mean, I'm guessing there's not going to be any voltage since even the meter is not on. Yeah, the BMS is completely shut down. Okay, after some investigating, I, uh, I disconnected the uh, alpha inverter and I have a feeling it got either too cooked, probably from the pizzazz pizza oven, but I'll go ahead and look in there in a little bit, but it's not working anymore. Uh, so I went ahead and switched it out with a uh, 1100 watt Kreger, I guess, a 1100 watt Kreger uh, modified sine wave. So we're gonna go ahead and continue the test the nice thing about this monitor is that it did keep all of the settings and all of the data. So we're just gonna keep going because this is all about the Red Odo battery, not about inverters or how we power it. It's just about real, real use. So we're gonna go back upstairs and find some more stuff to power. Okay, well we are back upstairs. Um, what I'm powering is this heating pad that Vetter is happily using. Uh, I'm also gonna charge my phone and I'm gonna turn on this light and I'm also gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a couple of those fans. Just plug in a couple fans too. Cause right now we're at 70.5 amp hours capacity used. So we have about 29 and a half left. All right, well, it's looking like it's a, getting to be that time. We are at 11.2 for the voltage. Amp hours are at 97.8. And my dog will not leave me alone. He has to know exactly what's going on at all times. As you can see. All right, we had 10.9, capacity is 98.3. Honestly, I have no idea what this, uh, what's this, is, is it Kreger or Krieger? Maybe it's Krieger, but I don't know what it shuts off at. I'm guessing it shuts off at 10 volts, but we'll just let it run until the battery dies.
Looks like the inverter shuts off at 10.5. So I don't know if we can maybe turn the inverter back on. Try to squeeze out the, the last 1.3 amp hour. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. Yep, we're not going to be able to pull any more from this inverter. But yeah, 98.7 amp hours and that it still has 10.6 volts. So it's on its it's on its last leg. The battery's pretty much empty, but I do believe that it it still holds 100 amp hours, even with all the crap that it went through. We're still able to pull 100 amp hours from it. I think on that note, this uh, this Red Odo uh, it passed this second test. Uh, I couldn't get it to 100 amp hours, but that's just because of the limitations of the inverter that I'm using. Uh, but the battery's still kicking. So um, I would definitely recommend this battery if anyone ever asked me. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And, uh, and if you want to see more of my content, consider subscribing. It definitely helps. Y'all have a great night. Thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye.